it's a good bike setup. A good bike setup for uh, this track, definitely. Um, it's, this track's way different than any other track that we go to all season long. It's uh, really slippery. It gets pretty bumpy and rough, and uh, it actually suits my style pretty well. I like a bumpy and rough track more so than a smoother track. The dirt here at Daytona is pretty interesting. It's uh, they seem to call it some moon dirt. I guess uh, it's pretty fascinating. I think. Uh, but the traction's uh, way different than anywhere else like we go, like I said before. Um, you just gotta search around for good lines and miss the holes and miss the rough stuff and try to get, just search around for good lines. That's about all you can do and keep, keep a smooth, smooth line around the track and keep your pace up, basically. Passing's pretty difficult here. You gotta set people up and be patient, that's for sure, because if you go and blow the groove, go up wide, you're pretty much screwed for the rest of the way, so you gotta spin your wheels and trying to gather your thoughts back up to get back down to the bottom and trying to make passes. But yeah, definitely passes are pretty hard to make here. Uh, like I said, you just got a good start's key here for sure. And uh, just get around smooth and good throttle control and stuff like that basically. Last year we got my first win here in Daytona and it was just uh, awesome, you know, honestly. Um, I've had so much, you know, all my firsts have come here. I've made my first national here, uh, fast qualified my first national, and, and last year I got my first win here. And it's just, uh, for me, Daytona is a special place, and I, and I look forward to coming here every single year. You know, it's, uh, it's been, I've had a lot of success down here, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to carrying that over into 2014. Um, as far as the track itself, it's, it's completely unique. You know, we never come to a, we don't go to a racetrack that's, quite like this the rest of the season you know the dirt the surface itself is completely different and and there's really no training for it whatsoever and with it being flat and no banking it's uh it makes it really tricky and treacherous you know you got to stay on the very bottom and and stay on the groove or some nights they'll dig it up and make it loose and you just got to chase the lines and, and stay as smooth as possible it's, uh, it's really the, all there is to it you know and uh, you got to have a good setup and and with those couple factors uh you know hopefully you're in the front of the pack